Tim, first of all, uh, another stoppage to the season. I mean, I know you've only been here a short while, but it's sort of been the story of Barnet's season, if you will, but we've just not ever been able to get a bit of consistency going. No, it's been unfortunate. Um, Alison, everybody's in the same boat. I mean, obviously, our older shot were the ones that called the game, uh, although we did have uh, COVID ourselves, uh, a number of cases, and um, obviously older shot had problems as well. Um, uh, obviously, the Yeovil we had we had to brush that one because again we had a number of first team players uh, that tested positive, so it is a problem. But it's, I mean, listen, it's going to be ongoing. You know, it's, it's, you've only got to turn the news on, you know, in the evening and see that the, you know the country's in, in trouble with it. Um, football's no different, so we've just got to. Um, you know, accept the rules and accept that we're going to have to almost do a mini pre-season every time we reconvene. You know, I mean, the lads are—they must think it is pre-season. The amount of running and hard work they're doing, but um, we have to do that to, to to top them up. You know, we've been uh, Gary Anderson um, and Ollie have been doing Zoom sessions with them, so we can contact them on the Zoom and they, and, and give them work. But it's not the same as as being out there on the grass and, and working with the footballs. But it's the best we can do. So, listen. We're next scheduled to play Boreham Wood, which will be on back-to-back games, although you know two or three weeks apart. So um, hopefully that game goes ahead and we can get some football. Uh, the important thing, I guess, is the boys who have been back have all come back with negative tests yeah. and, and all that. So it's given you a chance to get back out of the grass and just talk us through what those first few sessions have been like back. Well, uh, hard work for them. You know, it's um, I think because of the way the season that panned out, I think the pre-season here was probably... Uh, not the longest in terms of, you know, the report back and and, and getting the lads in a real fitness base. Um, so we're playing catch up a little bit on that. We've got a really good GPS system now, which um, we've uh, we've got working. It was it was not working properly, and we contacted or Gary Anderson contacted Korea, which is where it's from, and, and now it. I mean, listen, we we know everything now, um, so that's brilliant. Um, so the feedback is they're working really hard. So Gary has them for an hour before they come and do the football with me and, and Gary Wild. So they're doing an, an hour's worth of, of uh, you know, injury prevention and then fitness work, then they come into the football work. We've got to be a little bit careful because you, you can pick up injuries that way, so we have to be careful. Um, but they need it, you know, they need it. They need to be fitter, they need to be stronger uh, to, to play in this division. You know, this division is ruthless, it's physical and strong and powerful. And if you're weak or you don't, you know, you're not at the, the required level, you'll get brushed aside. So, um, you know, we're working hard on the fitness and the organisation side of it. And obviously, we're working on trying to work hard on the recruitment side as well. So, you know, we've got a number of uh, bases we need to cover. But the sessions have been good. The lads have got a great attitude. I've got no problem with the attitude. Um, they come in ready to go. Um, but, but we definitely need to get better, better as a team, fitter and more organised and stronger. Before I come on to some more positive news, is there an update on, on Josh? Because sort of obviously he pulled off in the last game. Josh Walker, yeah, yeah Josh Josh had a, a grade two hamstring. Um, so he'll, he's will he been in, uh, he's been in having treatment with us. He'll go to St George's Park next week for a week. Uh, I think on Monday next he's going, if I, if I remember rightly. So he'll get, you know, 24 7 treatment up there. A little bit of a change of scenery for him. It, it was a blow, a big blow. Um, listen, going down to 10 men. Obviously, he's having to work that a little bit harder to make that call. What shape to go? I mean, you got an hour to go again, and you're already losing the game. It was a, it was a tough call, so Alfie had to make way. But obviously, Josh felt that very early in the second half, and it, it, it was a blow. You know, we were just thought we were getting him, you know, sort of back to fitness a little bit. Maybe not as sharp as he could be, but he hasn't really trained. So listen, we're going to go down that route, send him there, and 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 hopefully he comes back and he, he's feeling a lot better. But you know, he's a I've had a chat with him. He's he's a super player. You know, he's a, he's a good finisher, a good striker. So I'd love if I could to keep him around. More positive news now: free in the door this week. Free, yeah, big, tall, strong centre backs. <laughs> Just talk us through each of them and how pleased you are to have them. I'm line. absolutely delighted. Listen, I, <clears throat> obviously I chat daily with um, with Mr. Cleanthus. And he's he's gone out on a limb, you know. He's he's, he's done brilliantly for me. He's backed me. Um, you know, we've identified. Obviously, listen, the league table, the stats don't lie. We're not stupid. We, we we're shipping far too many goals, and that's not just a goalkeeper or a back four or a. D, it's from the front back. You know, mm. you, you know, at the other clubs I've been at, 
my, my strikers have to work their socks off to stop the ball getting into the back lads too early. You know, so there's a lot of things that need correcting. But we need some personnel as well, and I, I've touched on that for a minute once it's okay. And we need some, you know, some some troops to bolster the, what we've already got here. So you know, the, the chairman's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and we've identified some candidates. Listen, Liam, I know really well because he was he was sol at Solio with us. Um, he was a big part of the team that, that finished runners up a couple of years back. Big, strong, vocal organisers. Um, he's an intimidating sort of personality in, or in you know figure, if you like. Uh, ben Everton Richards. Um, listen again, we've known him for a while. He's a Birmingham-based lad. Been up playing the EFL, you know, uh, in the last few seasons. I think he's played 12 games in League One for Bradford. Uh, sorry, League Two for Bla uh, Bradford this year. So. He's an EFL standard centre back again, six foot four, six five, big powerful unit. And young um, Kefalus has come in from QPR. Um, he's a younger one, obviously. He's irregular in their twenty threes. Um, again, six foot two, quick, uh, strong. Uh, looks looks technically tidy, um, as you'd expect at a club of that stature. Um, but he's he's itching to get involved. He wants to. You know, I've told him, I've let him know what this league's all about. You know, it'll be, you know it's all right being technically good. You're going to get smashed from pillar to post if you don't fancy it. So uh, he knows, he's, he's been out in the non-league. He's been at Billericay, I think, in the last uh, 12 months. So he's, he's, he's not a football snob. He wants to come and, and rough it and get ready to rumble sort of thing. So he's coming as well. So we've got some selection uh, you know, I've got selection dilemmas, and I've got personnel to choose from there. So, and that's what we've needed. You know, in all fairness, we've needed some some help back there, and now we've got it. So, I'll probably be tagging Tony again for some some higher up the pitch. But um, listen, he's done wonderful for us, and, and and we still need some more. There's no doubt about that. But we've got to make sure they're right as well. You know, we we haven't panicked, we haven't rushed into to anything. As you can imagine, we're getting a thousand names thrown at us left, right, and centre. Um, but you know we, we've been sort of solid enough about ourselves to wait and get the right people. The chairman's obviously you seem to have a, a very good relationship with him, and it's been a, a great start to your tenure, even with the acquisition of GA and now yeah. these three new boys. I guess a big question on the fans' lips will be: Are we going to see any more? You think through the door? Well, I hope, listen. As I said, I've just you know I'll, I'll sort of reiterate that we we do need some. Listen, we we do. There's no doubt about that. What? Listen, you, you're going to end up with a very big squad. But listen, the, the, the stats don't lie. You know, I'm not. You can use stats as you want, but if you actually look at the league table, we are where we are. It's not. It ain't good enough. Um, we're shipping too many goals, and we ain't scoring enough. You know, and that's a that's a not a good recipe. Um, so we've got some good players here. You know, and, and there's been a lot of hard work going. You know, around the COVID, if you like, but going on out there, we we're working hard to try and get more organised and, and fitter and stronger. But I still believe that we need some in the door. And I think there's no doubt, I think that you know, we're on the same page in terms of that. Um, so we're going to be working all the while. Uh, but as I say, they've got to be right. They've got to be right for the football club and right for the team. And they've got to improve us. It, it's, it, you know, there's millions out there, but it's getting the right ones. Um, so yeah, it's an ongoing process. And listen, even if you've got a, a, a team that's winning and up the top of the league, it's still an ongoing process. You're still looking to improve in every area if you possibly can. But um, right now we're looking to obviously freshen things up. Um, sometimes new voices and new, new blood around the building can spark other people, you know, and, and, and the good players will see other players of quality come through the door and be inspired by that. So you know, that's what we're looking to do. On to action and hopefully we'll be playing on, on Tuesday night against Boreham Wood. Yeah. So our last opponents. Well, the boys who obviously featured in that game, they'll want to sort of right the wrongs from that one, particularly because it's a big game for the club and for the supporters too. Yeah, no, it's listen, it's a local derby, isn't it? And uh, you know what happened happened. It's uh, listen, I didn't I didn't think we played well. Um, the sending off killed us to a certain extent. I mean, listen, we were already one nil down at the time, but um, you know to have a double whammy of a sending off and a penalty and then an hour to play with. Ten men wasn't wasn't easy uh, against a very good team. You know, I mean, listen, 
Luke's accrued that team over a long, long period of time. Funnily enough, we were clearing the drawers out in there. There's some old stuff in there from years back that need clearing out. And there was a there was a team sheet of Boreham Wood from about three seasons ago in a game between the two clubs. And, and there was about eight of the lads that played against us last time in that team. So they've been together and, and, and been constructed over a long period of time. And listen, they, they will 100% be there or thereabouts um, at the end of the season. And absolute nailed uh, contenders for the playoffs, there's no, no doubt about that. And they've got some very, very good players. And, and we saw that a few weeks back, you know. Uh, second half in that game, I mean, really, it was a bit of damage limitation. You know, you three zip down with 10 men. It was time to dig in and, and, and don't concede in the second half. And I thought the lads worked unbelievably hard to, to stem the tide. You know, they had a lot of possession. And then maybe second half, only the one chance when Lochi made a great save to block. I can't remember who shot now, but a good block in the second half. But listen, it's a new game. We got one or two new faces in. Um, we've had a little bit of time, although limited, to work with the boys. But it's a game, it's not, we look forward to every game, you know, whether it's Boreham Wood or whoever, you know, we've, we've got to improve. We've got to, to get a foothold somehow in this season, get a couple of results and get some confidence into the, into the boys and into the building. And there's only one way to do that and that's work hard. So that's what we're doing. We'll go there, we'll have our game plan, we'll be as organised as we possibly can be and we'll look to try and win the game. So it's, it's as simple as that. With the additions of, of the three new boys, that sort of give us a little bit more confidence, if you will. I've seen Liam in training, very, very vocal, and seems to certainly know how to head the ball and get mm. things away. Yeah. With the physical presence that they had with Matt Reed in the last game, mm. that might give us a bit more of a foothold in the match. Well, I've got. I mean, when you cut through all the all the possession and all that, it, we've been done by three set plays. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's they've been Ashmore gets the ball in the middle of his own half, clubs it 65 yards to the edge of our box. We lose the first contact, we lose the runner, and we lose the second contact, and he scores. So, you know, that is that is a route one, bog standard goal to concede. And it's one that you, you listen, you don't like to concede at all, but to concede like that is not acceptable. Uh, then it's a corner kick, free header, and he handles it off the line, penalty sending off. And then the third one's a corner kick. One of my defenders leaves his man to go and head the ball, heads it straight to the man he should be marking, and he volleys it in. Great finish, but poor defending. So, you know, you cut through all the dust and that, that we've been done by three three restarts. So, you know, in this division, if you can't defend your own box from crosses and you can't defend from restarts, you're in big trouble. So, listen, we, we, we've we got to improve and that's what we're trying to do. You know, I'm I'm not sitting here saying that we're, we're going to roll out on Tuesday like Barcelona. No, it ain't going to happen. But what, what I want to see is, um, like you touched on, standing up to man-on-man -man, you know, if you're, if you're told to mark a man, mark him. Mark him and get your first contact, win the ball and win the second one and get it away. And then we'll play higher up the pitch, you know. But you, you, mean, you, you, you identified Reed, but you've got Firefield, Champion, uh, Murta, um, you know, they've got a shed load of, of big lads, Mafuta, you know, they've got some real big presences. And, and you know, that's this division. A lot, there ain't too many teams roll up with uh, 11 midgets in this league. They're usually mob-handed with big, powerful men. So we're, you know, that was what I built Sully Hall's success on. We were, we were strong in both boxes. We were well-drilled at set plays, well-drilled in and out of possession. And everyone said, yeah, they play a certain way. Well, we play just like everybody else does in this division, basically. And that's play off the front, get on second balls and play in the final third. And there ain't many other teams that don't do that in this league. So that's what we're trying to drill. Um, and if you're good at it, you can be a real threat in this league. And just lastly, I'll finish on the, on the other end of the pitch with the attackers. Yeah. Mohamed Ufal, again, because of the stop-start nature of the season, he's never really been able to get that, that run of games. Is no. that with him and Alfie now back, and hopefully JJ will soon be back to fitness, do you think those they can fire the goals? And yeah. Do they just need a bit of confidence, really? Yeah, I mean, listen, that strikers, strikers want to hit the net. You know, and and I think JJ's got three this season. Has he? And, and listen, he hasn't started that many, so he's probably averaging one in two, something like that. But um, Alfie's been away at Dartford. Um, he wasn't here when I came in. Um, obviously, decided to, we wanted to bring him back and have a look at him. He's here. Obviously, you know, his contract is, is up at the end of the season, so we want to have a look at him. It's pointless me being in here and I can't see him. So I, I, 
to be fair, we need the bodies up top as well. We haven't got that many, obviously with Josh injured. Um, Mo Fahl is, um, listen, he's a hell of a shape. Uh, we've done all the, the sprinting away. His stats are terrific. He's rapid, you know, but he, he sort of come from Enfield, I think it was, scored a shed low there, got a move to, to Bolton and, and that sort of, he hasn't featured there. And then he's come back down to the, to the National League. But Mo, Mo looks like a really good athlete that needs to, now tactically or whatever, understand the game. So don't switch off when you're out of possession. Don't be walking about when you're out of possession. Get on the move, get back in, depending on where you're playing, and do a job defensively. Listen, he's got to learn all. He's just a young man, but he's, he's physically very good. He's, he's, he's got uh, he's, everything we're doing with GA is, is excellent, the feedback. Um, so and I've had a chat with him. Listen, his job now is to catch my eye and get in the team. And then when you're in the team, try and stay in the team. It's as simple as that. So what they do out there, they may think I'm not watching, but I am. I'm watching everything they're doing. Um, so I'm watching who's walking about. I'm watching who's sprinting about, who's showing me that, what he can do and getting everything out of the cupboard. So, uh, yes, Mo's got as, as good a chance as anyone else of getting some, some games under his belt. But they've all got to show me that out there.